Hey everybody, Marcos Villegas here, post-fight Golovkin versus Wade, where earlier tonight, Gennady Golovkin notched another knockout win and knocking out Dominic Wade in two rounds via KO. I'm being joined by Ray Boom Boom Mancini. And Ray, it seems like uh, another vintage Gennady Golovkin performance, him displaying his power and knocking out Wade. Not much to uh, really see in terms of improvement because of the two rounds, but what would you make of what Gennady showed? He shows what he's been showing, just what you said. Not, not a whole lot of improvement because there's he, he's not that he's a perfect fighter, but I'm telling you, his footwork, his balance is as close to perfect as you get right now. His timing, his, his selection of shots, he's hitting the guys at the right place. He's systematically breaking them down. Mm -hmm. And I, I haven't seen a fighter do that in years. And the thing that makes him so great is not that he hits so hard, which he does is that his balance is impeccable. That's the, he never, he's never out of position. You watch him, and when, nobody's better at cutting off the ring than Golovka right now. So that's, that's, that's what makes him so great. Now, looking at the performance he had and seeing that in the foreseeable future, we want to see a Canelo versus Golovkin fight. How do you see that playing out, given what Gennady's showing so far in his fights? Well, first of all, I think it's a great fight. That's the fight everyone's waiting for. Um, Gennady is the... Uh, is the mandatory defense. They had the, this is the interim fight for Gennady. Next month, uh, Canelo's going to have his interim fight. I hope after that, I just hope it don't get screwed up. I hope Oscar De La Hoya doesn't start, say, you know, starting to do the okie doke and change plans. I hope Canelo doesn't say, oh, say, hey, after he soon, if he beats Khan, I, I want to hear him say, no, I want Golovkin. Because I ain't heard him say that. Golovkin's been saying that, but I ain't heard. Canelo said that. Look, it's a great fight. It's the best fight out there to be made. Don't deprive the fans. That, you know, if you want to be considered one of the greats, you want to do great things like the Ray Leonard's, or Roberto Duran's, Tommy Hearns, they, uh, Wilfredo Benitez, they fought each other. Mm. That's why that fight now, don't let, the, don't let your promoter or your managers get in the way. I want to hear the fighters say, Golovkin is in it. I want Canelo. I'm waiting to hear Canelo say that. So let's, let's see that fight get made. Who do you give the advantage to in I, that? I, I think I think Golovkin's the best fighter there is right now. Yeah. I've seen Canelo. Now, <laughs> the way you beat him, if if Gennady stays in front of him, mm -hmm. that's benefits Canelo because he's he's built like a, I met him. He's built like a linebacker. He's so strong. The combinations too. He throws more. But 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 the thing that brought, but if you give Canelo a little bit of movement, it throws him off. Every time he has to turn his body, he's the guys that get movement like Lara. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of Lara game problems. Mayweather, you give him problems. Austin Trout, gave him problems because he they move and he has problem with guys who move. Guys like Angulo stand in front of him, Kirkland to stand in front of him. He's gonna knock that. He's gonna knock a wall down. Yeah. Gennady's gonna give him movement. I don't know if he's gonna give him a lot of movement, but it's just enough probably to throw him off. But that's the chess match, mm -hmm. just to give enough movement to throw him off. But I think it's gonna be a firefight, and then. I, I don't know. I, I, I like Golovkin. I think he's a better fighter. I give him an advantage to win the fight. But if he stands with him and goes toe-to-toe, -to -toe, which it will happen eventually, mm -hmm. too much pride on both guys, then 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 I don't know. It'd be, it'd be great. But that, let it happen. I just hope <laughs> that Golden Boy doesn't doesn't screw this up. They don't they don't start backtracking and, and just let the fight happen. They're saying the main roadblock to the fight is the weight. Golovkin says 160. I'm not going no, anywhere below. Canelo could, says 155. No, no, what do no. you make of all that? Well, 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 well Canelo, do you want to put? Do you want to? Why don't you take off the dress? No, and I'm serious. You start make, quit making demands. If you say you're the middleweight champ, you fought, you fought uh, Cotto for the middleweight title. You don't fight him for 154. That, even though they were at a catch weight of 55, it was the middleweight title. You're a middleweight champion, Gennady, uh, Gennady's a middleweight champ. Gennady say no, fight for 160. If you're a middleweight, you could stay at 55, 54, 55. Let him weigh what he wants and then fight him. You, see, when, when Ray Robinson moved up to fight Jake LaMotta, Ray Robinson weighed 148 pounds. He didn't wait, move, move up. That's, those days are gone. You know, just these catch weights are, are crap. If you say you can fight for the middleweight, then fight for the middleweight title. Let him weigh what he wants, and you weigh what you want, and fight for the title. Don't you know? You know what the difference between 154 and 160 pounds is? You know what the difference is? Five pounds. No, no, no. I, I know two, there's a bigger difference. Two glasses of water. <laughs> yeah. That's all. When a fighter's dried up, yeah. you drink two glasses of water. Now you're 100. You put on five pounds. Mm. I'm telling you, that's all it is. Yeah. It ain't got nothing to do with nothing. It's two glasses of water. So weigh what you want. He's the middleweight champ. He's going to weigh what he wants. If you start demanding catch weights, 
you got that whole, you had 20,000 Mexicans here tonight and Nicaragua went, went say, and all the different Latinos. You heard Gennady, uh, what Gennady said, called them out. If you could start doing catch weights, you got 20,000 people that are going to, you know, boo you out of the game. Just be the champion that you are. Step up. Whatever way you want to come in, let him be at the way he wants to come in, and boom, and make the fight happen. Speaking of uh, the 20,000 here, there's a lot of people here for Chocolatito Gonzalez. He put on a, a very uh, great performance against a guy who was really tough. McWilliams Arroyo has a chin on him, man. Yeah, he does. And I, I, was, I was glad to see that because, you know, but what I liked about Chocolatito, he didn't lose his composure. He wanted to knock him out. He wanted to put on a show for the people. But he didn't lose his composure. He didn't get ragged in there. Yeah. He was systematically just kept punching, banging that body. Bang. But like you said, McWilliams Arroyo has a hell of a chin. Yeah. And I'm not so sure. He got busted up, you know? Mm -hmm. That's the type of fight that next fight, because the experience he gained from this fight, is going to be a better fighter, or this type of fight that he got broken, that Chuck Tito beat him so bad that it breaks you down. And, you know, physically, you say, man, your body's never going to be able to recover. I want to, I hope, I hope, I'm anxious to see what happens. But I enjoyed his performance. He had a lot of heart, man. And you got to love the fact that he put on a show the way he did. Off the top of your head, who was a better fighter you feel at the lighter weight classes, Chocolatito or Finito Lopez? Finito Lopez was great. I mean, Finito Lopez is one of the all-time greats. But Chocolatito is a... Chocolatito can get them? <laughs> oh, absolutely. If he's a, this guy, is, he's going to be doing things. But Finito Lopez, you know, what he was, 50, 50 and 0? 50, but then he had that draw. Yeah, the then he draw. came back and knocked the guy out. Mm -hmm. And I think when he retired, 51 0 1. 50, yeah, yeah, 51 0. Yeah. <laughs> so Fernando Lopez was great, man. That would have been great to see him at that time. Or how about, you know, or, or, or Chiquita, uh, Chiquita Gonzalez yeah. fight. At the, you know, the, he was, that would have been a great fight. So the, the different timings, everything. But this guy, Chuck Tito, is as good as they come. Yeah. As good as they come. <laughs> and the, the light, and this, those smaller weights. He's as good as I've ever seen. No one can touch him right now, you feel? I don't think. At this point, no. 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 <laughs> He's going to have to move up and get bit and fight other guys. He's just too good for these other guys. 115, go to 118. That would be interesting. Ben and Wayne. I'd like to see him fight Ben and Wayne. I think he could do it. Ray, as always, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Here with Ray Mancini, this is Marcos Villegas for Fight Up TV here at the Forum in Inglewood.